Hello everyone and welcome along to episode number 88 of our Elliot Slesser Rising Star Grim Mode and here for the semi-final of the Coral World Grand Prix against the warrior Kyron Wilson. Should be an absolute uh, cracker of a match uh, between us. Well, I hope it will be a, a cracker of a match. Whether it uh, will be or not uh, remains to be seen. But uh, every time we face Kieran, we always, uh, well Kyron I should say, we always get uh, a fantastic, fantastic match. So uh, with that being uh, said guys, all that uh, remains for me to uh, do is to uh, say that uh, the introductions have been done. The two players are ready on the table and it is time without any further ado. Whether we like it or not, to get these two boys on the bays, let's play for a spot in the final of the Coral World Grand Prix. You know Elliot's going to win it already. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Elliot Slesser to break. Yeah, well then, let's see what happens in the uh, in the match then, folks. And uh, I will say, we do always have uh, good matches with Kyron. He uh, he brings out the best in uh, in Elliot, and the worst as well. So it's all a case of uh, seeing where we go here. Kyron with the uh, break uh, back. Now, can we pop that red? No, we can't. <clears throat> so it looks like we are going to be playing safe. That might end up behind the yellow if it's uh, pacey enough. Certainly does. That's a snooker. That's the result he was after. You know what happens when the uh, AI get in the snooker position? There's a good chance he'll leave an opportunity for his opponent here. Ooh, that was, that was a, actually oh, not a bad yes. effort there, uh, Kyron. Elliot's we'll lesser. give you that one. Oh, but no uh, back behind the yellow, here. please. And he's put his opponents in again. He wants to keep this cue ball safe, but no guarantees. He's had another go, missed that uh, completely. Foul and a miss. Elliot Slesser, four. So, he's got some choices here. Let's see what he sells. So, uh, have another go. He'll be trying to reduce any risk with this shot. Foul and a miss. Elliot yeah, Slesser. Yeah, he's going to have another go here, folks, again. as well. He doesn't want to play this with too much pace. Well, he got lucky there, hitting that. Because uh, that was missing. So, uh, let's see. That red doesn't pass there. We may have to fin snick and put him down on the bolt, the uh, bottom cushion here. <coughs> that would be uh, that would be the tactic that uh, I would use. Kyron puts us up uh, the top end. Now we're going to have to. Uh, Play a really good shot here. Try and avoid the blue on the way up. That's a good shot. Now, if that can end up somewhere like there, I would say that that is... Uh... All right. Kyron's going to... Oh, Kyron's left that uh, well short. And there's a red right over the pocket, practically. My only query Not is what what's the colour going to be. That's a poor shot. So, this pot into the right corner. It might be a long blue, That's folks. That's a beauty. Great technique. Well, medium Superb range blue, viewing. but... Oh. Elliot's bread and butter with the medium range blues. And the greens. But no, he, he saw the blue, he liked the blue, so he'll uh, go for the blue here. Now, if he plays this uh, right in the right way, he could play for this, one of these reds... Uh, just above the black. They're all in a line. Put this into the right corner. Uh, he may have gone a little far from the one he intended. It's 
It's going to be a cutback if he uh, wants to pot it. And the only problem with that cutback is it's uh, going into uh, the pack of reds. So that's why he's going for this one in the uh, middle Very pocket here. Shot coming up. Good shot. How's your angle on the blue? Position looks very good here. He's yeah, playing not that good. very well. Seven. Although in saying that, it is straight enough. He may be able to... There's a gap. You see them two reds down there? There's a gap. He might be able to uh, pot into that gap. He'll play this with plenty, play this with of, plenty of top. Try and get around angles. Well, he lost well, control of the cue ball there. He's played that poorly. That, uh, that well, didn't work there, Elliot. I think he's getting a bit petulant here with this uh, red into the uh, cutback, red into the corner. This really is tricky. He's got it. Oh, but he's got what it. What a shot. What a shot, me. folks. 13. Now the only problem is his long green has been taken away, so we have to take this uh, blue, which is a little bit more risky. But uh, if he gets it right, so there's a red that's this just no loose from the pack. He might be able to uh, play for that. Would you believe but, it? Uh, that's nothing. 18. So that's end of break. Unless that red passes the brown. Which it doesn't. So what I would do here, Elliot, is play safe. Up and down. Maybe uh, twice across uh, the cushion. What are you going to play here? I think he's going to play uh, the shot I said up and down the table with this red. Oh, there's a red coming up. Luckily, that red's not really potable, so he gets away Elliot with it. Flesser, 18. For the moment. One. Well, he didn't get away with it. Seven. I thought uh, I thought he did get away with it, but uh, obviously Eight. not. Fourteen. Reds in the middle. Fifteen. This is what I mean. We always get these uh, good games with Kyron. Nineteen. He's uh, he is a top player. In fact, he's more than a top player. He's a hell of a player. 20. And uh, we all know what we think of hell of a players around here. He should take this black uh, along the cushion here. And then play for the one that 27. was uh, just above that black. Where's the black going to go? In the blue spot? Yep. 28. Now, what colour are you playing for here? Are you going to play a black? I imagine you are going to play for a black. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. 31. And goes that uh, uh, green. Took me past. That's where we'd go for the black there, but uh, saw more value in the green. 32. He'll take the black now, for sure. He scores 32. Black makes 39. it 39. He's still on red, so he's got uh, the one on the far right of the table as you look at it. 40. This, this is where he'll uh, punch in a big score and we got to uh, live with it. Sit here and take it after, quite frankly, an absolute howler. 48. Might take the pink here. No, he's going to take the brown. 52. <laughs> the next 53. I think that's... Uh, no, there's still uh, plenty on the table for us to uh, come back into this game. 
61. 43 on the table once this pink goes in. So he's going to need uh, one more red, I think. And uh, it's hard to not see him uh, pop that red, if uh, we're being completely honest. There's that 68. red, so that's uh, the first frame to Kyron Wilson. Black's in. 75. Red's into the middle. 76. And uh, we'll just concede and uh, frame conceded. get on to the next frame, frame then, Kyron folks. Wilson. So he's opened up a one-frame gap and we'll be looking to apply some pressure on his opponent in this frame. Thank you. The second frame, Kyron Wilson to break. Well, I don't know if he'll be putting any pressure on with that break, because uh, that's not the best break you've uh, ever seen from Kyron. This is really tricky. So we'll see if Elliot uh, has still got it. Yes, he's still got his uh, potting boots on. The Blacks also coming up the table. Not potable, unfortunately, but uh, one. It may be. Uh, it may be soon unless he fancies the uh, cutback. So uh, we're going to go for the pink. He's going to go for the pink. He's aiming for the left corner here. Pink cleanly in the centre of the pocket. Yeah, and yeah. one of the reds almost. Seven. Goes uh, into the middle pocket. In off. Ow. That was my uh, laptop. Lots of power on this shot. He'll be fuming about that. Eight. Hmm. He really doesn't want to overhit It's like, this. uh... Oh, I don't know about that shot, mate. You've left him in the open. Successfully gets out the snooker, but he's left an opportunity here. Elliot Slesser, eight. And uh, you could go 2-0 down here. But that, uh, that is the story with, um, with Kyron, unfortunately. Kyron has uh, the habit of uh, making it all look like... Uh, one. Nothing's wrong. Let's put the blue Six. in. Seven. Another red down. Will he go for the blue again? Blue's a, an easier shot to uh, guarantee position on a red. Twelve. Oh, I'm not sure about that shot, Kyron. Oh, no, he had one. 13. He'll go for the black here. Black into the middle pocket. 20. Then it's all about where's this black going to go because I think all the spots are occupied. In fact, it's gone right underneath its uh, spot there. The rules are if it can't go in its own spot, it goes to the first available spot of its uh, highest colour. And if it can't do that, then it goes as near to its spot uh, as it physically can. Unfortunately, in that instance, it uh, couldn't. So it had to go in a direct line under its own spot. 34. And uh, you can see Chiron's uh, a bit of a runaway train here. Forty-one. I don't. Uh, I don't fancy uh, winning this frame unless Chiron makes uh, a mistake. That could happen, though. Kyron could make uh, that mistake. Forty-four. In goes that red. Forty-five. He's got uh, the brown uh, coming up. Forty-nine. One, uh, another red in. Look at that, he's potted every colour so far, bar the green. 
55. Ooh. Yeah, he's still on one. He's on that one to the middle. It's going to get harder now. <coughs> he may... 61. Uh, I don't know. There's still 53 on the table. 51 on the table. So actually, he has won this uh, frame. He's just having a good long uh, think about it. We oh, could be going 2-0 uh, down here momentarily. 67. Kyron Wilson, 67. Not, uh, not that that would be a bad thing. Elliot uh, has been known to come down from 2-0 uh, bat before. So there's 43 on the table. He needs four snookers. To tie. Tricky pot coming up. Oh, I think he was going for the snooker behind the... Uh, behind the green there, but when it got all wrong, he's brought that red into play. How are you going to play this one, Elliot? Well, luckily it doesn't pot, so you'd assume that uh, Kyron will just send him up the table. Now, there may be a chance uh, here of a snooker. Unless he uh, just fancies potting this red for the uh, for the Fs and giggles, no gimme. which I think is what he is doing. Oh, yes. yes, so he's got to take the black One. off this red, and then figure out a snooker. In goes that black. Eight. So how how are we going to play it then, uh, Elliot? I don't even think he knows how he's going to play it. Oh, it looks like he's going to go up behind the brown. That's that wouldn't have been my first choice if uh, we're being completely honest, but. Uh, there's a potential for this to uh, overrun here. I think it has overrun as well. And that red and looks lesser. potable Eight. as well. Oh, it nearly did as well. <sighs> right. Well, the best thing you could do here then, Elliot, is pot the red, get a black, and then try and get on the yellow. And try and get One. a snooker off the yellow, because that... Brown looks inviting. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. So the black goes in. What a top shot that is. Eight. So. Let's see. Oh, actually. The snooker may not be behind the brown. It may be behind this blue. He just He's going to go behind the blue behind here. The blue Watch ball. this white ball. Watch this white ball. He's got the snooker. Yep, nicely done. Elliot Slesser. It's an easy one to hit, but he's got the snooker. So now what, uh, Elliot? You were outfoxed there. What does the fox say? You got uh, outfoxed. That's uh, what the fox says. Hmm. He may try and go up behind the brown again. He's eyeing that up. 
I, I don't like that shot personally. Because if it all goes wrong, there's only uh, one outcome that's going to happen, and that's uh, game over. And in fact, if that yellow goes in the pocket, or over the pocket, yeah. No, he thought about it. Well. <sighs> wow, Kyron didn't even take it on now. There's a snooker here. Get him behind the pink. You get him behind the pink. This is not an easy snooker to hit. He's played that very he well. He should still hit it, but it's not easy. Right. Now that's straight. The temptation... Oh, he's not going to take uh, the yellow one here. I would have thought uh, he would take the yellow one. See, I would have potted the yellow and uh, tried to get a snooker on the green. Well, I haven't a clue what you've played there, but that's awful. And that's... Uh, Frame yep. Let's go Frame on uh, to Ireland. the next one then, folks. Well, well, this lead is starting to grow now. He's looking pretty good at the moment, and this lead is developing nicely. Thank you. The third frame, Elliot Slesser to break. Elliot gets us off and underway in the third frame. What was that shot from Kyron? Oh, he got that one all wrong. Right, Elliot needs to put uh, a big break in here to try and somehow get back into the match. He's lining this up into the right middle pocket. Quality opening red. And that red to start things off will uh, One. help the situation. In goes the black. Now, is he going to find a red? I think he is. If that red he nudged first, he's going to go into the top corner. And it does. Half a chance here. Fabulous pop. He'll be happy with that. Top shot. Nine. So it goes that red into the top corner. It was a good shot now. You've got to find a red to get on here, Elliot. Because if you don't get on it, we're in uh, trouble. Well, he may be on one. 16. There's a load of zigzaggy reds. That red uh, there is available. And it'll uh, offer a nice position back Gently on the black. Just gently nudge it into the corner. 17. So let's see, he's going to put some backspin and try and get on a red good here. Well, he's not on the intended one 24. nicely. He'll still take it on though. Plays it slow enough, he could nudge uh, onto the black here. Kiss off the red he's going to uh, connect with. And he's back on the black. Excellent shot. 25. Black goes in. 32. Now, if he plays this with a bit of a uh, side screw, could play some left hand side and a bit of bottom as well. He'll get back on the black. This is a perfect response here to uh, how Kyron's played so far. It's a bit straight though. But uh, he's got to find a red to play on. 
Playing Gonna play with loads of, of uh, right hand side and a bit of bottom again. Hmm. I tell you what, uh, I'd be doing. He's going to play this one. Didn't think he'd uh, attempt that one. He's going to put some screw on it to uh, get between the reds here. This is being played towards the left middle pocket. Does he end up on the black? Yes, he Great does. Shot. How close to that red is he going to get? Running with confidence and oh, a he's bit of a roll on the top of it. It's going to be. Uh, that red's a distraction. But it's in. Connects with a red. Oh, I tell you what, that was a good connection with that red. 48. Oh, he's going to take another one to the top corner here. No, he's not. Changed his mind. Which he's allowed to do. Going to put some top on the, this ball, try and get it through this red. That split is not bad at all. Good split as well. Great opportunity. 49. I don't want to say uh, the one four sevens on here, but uh, guys, the one four sevens on. Fifty six. Just put it out there. Oh, that red pots. Pace is critical here. Gonna play a stun here. run through. Down That's it a goes. great shot. He's right on top of his game at the moment. Fifty seven. Now, what's your next red gonna be? He's going to take one into the middle here. You can see this uh, being set up. Unless that one between the pink and the blue uh, goes in the top corner. Which it does. So he can uh, put some screw on this and get back to the black. This won't be easy. That's a top shot. So this will put him 72 in front with 75 on the and table the once he pops this black. Nicely. So 65. he still needs one more red. Where is said red coming from? Loads of bottom and right hand, sorry, left hand side on the ball. Well, believe it or not, that's actually 72. not too bad. The only one he can pot is this one. So let's see, this will put so him 73 in front, this will put him over the here. finish line. Oh, we got a backspin oh, a connection shot. off that red. That's a that should be useful it. hit. No real way for the opponent to win the frame now. 73. So now that the frame's won, he can concentrate on the perfect response. I think I'm, if I'm right, if this 147 happens... This will be his third 147 of the He's tournament. He's on the pot along the cushion. That's unreal. Excellent shot. Not not even uh, Ronnie has played like that. It's going to play one of these reds in the triangle here. 88. It's going to be the immediate one because this will, in theory, it should unlock the other red to go clean through to the uh, pocket. 89. Yeah. <sighs> Where are you going to go with this one? He's obviously playing the lower of the two reds here. That's good. 96. So that's in. Hmm. Now, how are you going to play this uh, one? Are you going to do what I think? Yeah, you're going to go. Uh, he's basically going to play a sort of power screw, reverse screw, and try and get above this red that you're looking at closest to you. Fantastic century. A little bit too far. I should, he should still get on the black. Don't get me wrong. 
it's uh, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. And speaking of a little more difficult, 105. Now, the only way he's getting on this red is it's going in the middle. And he's played that very well. So now what you can do is screw back between the pink and the black, get on the black low enough aiming for the right center to here. just basically stun the black white done. up to the colors and it's the maximum break. 113. Although he has fished a bit high. So you have to play this with some power and some top to try and uh, generate uh, this the requisite a uh, angle. As long as he gets past the blue, he's on it. So he's at there. It's going to be a long yellow. But uh, it could go in. Just the colours left now. What a now beauty. come down past that bulk line cue ball. Thank you very much. 122. Got to really slow roll this green. Alright, uh, he's going to leave a long blue. 125. He's Kyron looking on. Here. That's a great pot. Oh, I said long blue. <laughs> Maybe a blue into the middle. But then it's a case of where the hell's this uh, cue ball going to go? Come on, cue ball. Get high. Get high on this pink. Ugh, oh, dear me. 134. Well, let's see how he gets on this black, folks. Because I'll be honest, I don't fancy him. If he gets on this black, I'll give Just him the to money see myself. To the left corner pocket. Oh, wow. How would you like this black for a 147? I reckon if he had put a lot more pace in that, he'd have gone on it. He's just going to go and hit it. If it goes in, it goes just in. This pot for a truly magnificent maximum break. And you know what? Get in! Maximum break! That completes a brilliant close. That is the perfect response to Kyron's form. 147. It's 2-1 now. Thank you to fourth frame. Kyron Wilson to break. <sighs> Kyron Wilson with... Uh, Another awful break off. Playing this with plenty of power. And there's a. Uh, wow, Not did you see. Oh dear. I was going to say, wow, did you see that cue ball? One. Well, can he get through to the black? He can. Can he pot it, though? If he pots this. I tell you what. If he this pots this, easy. but he's got the table at his mercy. It's got only gone in. No problems with the rest there. Good luck. He's, he's on fire. He is on form, on fire. Eight. Can anything stop him? He's put that 147 in. And now it seems like, you know, he's going to uh, do another one. Well, he's only potted one ball so far. Look at that action on that cue ball. He's gone right between the black and the red there. Nine. Just to get position. Just to get position, folks. Gonna play with a bit of right hand side here, try and uh, do something with the cue ball. Oh, he's come back up the table, that's a good shot. 16. Now, he may have to uh, hold this uh, cue ball by hitting that red. I don't think he's on the black. I think he went too far there. 17. So we'll have to take the blue. 
Yeah, he can't pop the black. So you have to take the blue here. But the good news with that is he's got a red uh, hanging over the pocket here waiting for him. Nicely onto a red. He's had, to be fair, he's actually 22. got loads of reds waiting for him. And one of them is this one. So, this pot into the right corner. Ooh, bit of a misfire there from Elliot. But in goes that red. No issues there. Good shot. Oh, wonderful shot. 23. Just going to put some screw back on this screw and uh, a bit touch of left. Well, no, I thought I was going to put a bit of left hand side on it, but it uh, looks like it's going to play lots of uh, right and maybe a little bottom as well. Mulligan. Oh, he's nudged into a red there. Played it well. Is he still on one? Well, he is, because he got that one that's near the yellow. Red. That's potable. Should get the white to come down the table somewhat. Uh, he's looking to pop this into the left the corner black, pocket. Possibly. Excellent. Pop. All depends if it gets past these He's reds, very well which here. it kind of did, 31. but then at the same time kind of didn't. So uh, he's got second prize, the pink. That's a good split. He's and he's got a split here. as well. A good shot. Yeah, I'd be tempted to take this one into the uh, middle here. And then try and get on the blue. Thirty-eight. Hmm, which way is he going with this blue? Does that blue pass that red? It's a very narrow pocket. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. You see the red is partially blocking, and but the blue in goes in. Excellent. Got a bit of a connection with the uh, brown there. He's going What's brown it? down. Uh, long range uh, red coming up. The only problem is the black is a bit impeded at the moment. This is a half chance. But that red goes in. Look at that. Straight as an arrow, he's on the blast. Honestly, red folks, if he can get rid of just look at that, for a that red shot. that's uh, just Superb. behind the black, he may have a shot 44. here. Fifty-one. He's got to take another long red. He's making this difficult. Highest break at the moment could potentially be 144, well, possibly chance. 143 once this uh, what a fabulous goes in. Because he's uh, going to have to play for the pink Excellent here. Positional play there. Inch if perfect. Wow, oh, I thought that black was in, but no, he's had to play for the blue now. I well, know he can play for the pink. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think he could there. It's half a chance, but well, a chance on the list. He could, but the pink is dispatched. What a top pot that was. What a wonderful pot. 58. Oh, I don't know if that red, where, if that red goes in. You're lucky there. He's taking this red on. It does go in. Well, and he's got a connection on that red as well. We've we'll got to get rid of this red here, this black. 59. We might be able to do it here Tricky if he here. runs through. Nicely done. Quality queuing there. Oh, he's done really it. Good. Oh! 
a bit more pace and that was perfect. So by taking this, this you're basically easy. essentially taking the pink out of commission. So he's no going to have to there. play possibly for the blue, Great unless queuing. he fancies this pink. Because he may 66. not fancy this uh, this blue. He's going for the green instead. He just needs the green here. No he goes up to green. And that uh, shuts the door he's on his opponent literally in hanging this over the pocket here. 69. So they're going to need a fair nudge if he's on the blue. Oh, 70. I didn't think he had that much angle. He could take the black if he felt like it, but I think the blue's got to be the shot here to try and get onto uh, one of these reds uh, on the side cushion here. Up and down, nice Mr. Yellow. Played. Good shot. What's he got uh, next, then, folks? Seventy-six. That red goes in. He'll take a pink here. He's going to follow up that uh, one four seven with a equally as impressive break. Although he think he's uh, under overdone the red 82. he intended on there, so he's having to play this red, and this red's uh, dangerous. Top shot coming up. Oh, that's a top quality shot with the red. But somehow he's on the all. black. 83. Could take the red at the uh, bottom of the table here. If he could nudge that red out of the way, I tell you, there you go, look at that. He's nudged the red out of the way, so that black is now finally for the possible red. into both pockets. 90. And he's going to further nudge it out of the way here. Excellent. Nicely onto the black. 91. Oh, is he on that red? Yes, he is. He's on that 98. red. He's going to screw around the back of the black here. As long as he's not high on this black, he'll be all right because he can get up 99. for the uh, yellow. Looking to play this with a lot of power. Hey, he's on the Fantastic yellow. Century. Brilliant. He's on the yellow, but it's not into the pocket he intended. 106. Just the colours to go. Is he trying to. Oh, that's I think he's really playing. Yeah, that's a crack. He's right played there. to get the brown off the cushion there. Knowing that he's guaranteed to get onto the. Uh, Onto the green. So a bit of backspin on this uh, green. And it'll be a brown along the cushion. And uh, it should be a formality then because the break will be. Let me put 22 onto the score we got now. 133. He's going for the left corner pocket. So following the 147 with a 133. Anyone's books, that's mighty impressive there from uh, the Geordie Juggernaut. Well, no surprises here. It will be long pot attempts. Get pink into the same pocket. Look at that. Brilliant long pop over distance. One of his strengths. Pink next, and then uh, black He's for the one three three. Into the right corner. Now, if you thought the uh, black in the last frame for the one four seven was difficult, here comes a difficult one. One twenty six. That completely. Oh, he held his nerve for that one. Very impressive. But uh, believe it or not, we're going all the way and the frame. to the final. So close. Just one more frame required for victory. This will be a test of his mental toughness. So close, but we've seen top players crumble in these situations. He really needs to keep his cool and not let the situation get to him. Thank you to fifth frame, Elliot Slesser to break.
Elliot uh, careens into the yellow. I forgot a word at the end of the last clip, and that was frame. <laughs> We're heading to a final frame decider, folks. Mm. Basically, win this frame, and uh, you're going to be there. You're going to be there as uh, the winner of the match, and you're on to the final. Very well judged shot there. Got a good uh, shot there I behind the brown. Oh, the snooker as well. Escape here. Oh, he's left that. That could be the final shot he plays. Now, if you hit that red square on, you should hold it right there. Well, you didn't hit square on, but One. you hit it uh, in the right place. So, this is uh, going to be it then, Elliot. Your chance first to uh, potentially win this frame. Eight. Got a red into the middle here that he's uh, going to take. He's going to play a really, Find really soft pocket. screw here. But gets back on the Nine. black. And that is where he wants to be. He wants to be on that... Uh, black position. In goes the black. Now, does he get on one of these reds uh, that are free? Yes, he does. 16. He's going to play with a bit of side to get back onto the black. Position looks good for a colour. 17. Looking to play this with a lot of power. The split looks good to me. 24. Black goes in, but what's his next red? Ugh, dear me. He's making this difficult. See, he could play the plant here, but the plant at this early stage is dangerous. So it looks like he's going to play this red, but it's going to be with plenty of power and plenty of top. If he tries to get on the black, it may not work. So he maybe have to prepare himself to take pink or blue here. And he's going to have to be, I think, the pink. Although in saying that, that blue is fairly straight. Well, he's 25. dipped a bit below it. But that pink is also straight. It's all up to Elliot how he feels. If he wants to take this blue, take it, because he could probably get on that red that's near the cushion. Well, there are two reds near the cushion. This one uh, here, but I don't think that passes into the middle pocket. He's played so that he may be looking well. here to go to uh, the one that's near the bottom corner. This looks relatively easy. Thirty-one. It goes. He's on the black. As long as he gets past uh, now, can he drop this? What's going to get right past corner? seventy-one? And it goes. No. Yes, yeah, seventy-one. That's a wonderful, wonderful. If he gets pop. to seventy-one. He's won this match. Thirty-eight. No, he's not won this match. He's uh, going to get to. I can't uh, see any problems here. 70, uh, 73 at least. 39. Well, 72, I would say. 72 wins this uh, match for him. No, surely 71 wins the match. 46. Because if uh, 73 wins it on a 147, he's taken a blue already. So, yeah, it should be 71. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. Oh, that's a good shot, kicking the pink out of the way. He's going to be on the black. Simply wonderful. 47. This black looks uh, pretty straightforward, I would say. 
well, I would say, but uh, whether it actually is straightforward or not. Uh, well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. If we're being honest. Tremendous pot. It's a good bit of screw action. He's, he's, he's on well a here. number of reds here. Take your pick, basically, uh, Elliot. He's going to take this one near the uh, corner pocket, play with a bit of stun run through. 55. Now he's going to play the black with a bit of stun, well a bit of screw actually, but it'll stun right up the table. Hopefully, well, I thought if I hit that red full ball. You can see the reds are all over the place 62. here. This is uh, one of those uh, really hard to work for breaks as uh, he's looking at this red. We'll say. What a wonderful pot. What about that for a positional shot? Perfect. Red goes in 63. though. He's on the black. So it would basically be this next uh, red. The black's in. So 70 in front. There's still 75 on the table. He is going to need a red. And the Seven. red on its own on the left side of the table here is perfect. This will put him in the final. Just the red required. And he's in the final. Give it, uh, give it the old fist bump there, Elliot. You, uh, you've deserved that one, buddy. You have uh, come back in fine form. Could take the brown here. They're probably taking no the brown. He's going to careen into here. the yellow. Not unless he hits it harder and uh, gets past it. Now, what red are you on? You're on one into the middle. That is a absolute cracker. 75. He's lining this up into the left centre pocket. The red goes in nicely. Seventy-six. We know what a prolific long potter take he is. Take a long blue here. Uh, I'd assume take this on. Hit the boomstick. Oh, what a shot that is! Eighty-one. It's a good shot, Elliot. And now uh, another red goes in. He's uh, he's starting a fire now, folks. Starting to fire on all cylinders. I think he's playing this with a lot of power. The black goes in with a lovely bit of screw on that. Is he going to get on the red above the pink? Oh, yes, he is. What a Thank shot, you. folks. Cannot begin to tell you how good of a shot that is. He's looking to pop this. And now he's going to go across pocket. the table here. Poss he's not on the black. Surely he's not on the black. Oh, a bit harder than he would have been. 90. Elliot's enjoying himself now. He, he's proper enjoying himself now. Yes, he's taking the pot on. Green goes in. Ninety-three. He's gonna try and nudge this uh, one in down the. Uh, he just wants this to into the drop middle pocket. gently into the pocket. Very nice. Well played. That take was made pink. more difficult due to the rest being used. Ninety-four. You knew he was gonna take the pink. She's gonna hold it right there for the. Uh, no real problem here. What a century the that is. down the side cushion. 100. And this is a tricky one along the cushion. What a great shot that is. 101. Black next. You can, you can see now, now that he's won the f match, he's kicked it into another gear here. Lots of power on this shot. I 
Is he going to get past that green? Just. Underneath. Just gets past uh, the green. And the yellow will uh, just put him back now. Uh, on the green very nicely. A little harder than... Uh, well positioned for the green. He wanted, but... Uh, that uh, shouldn't be a problem. This well, this green really shouldn't be uh, that much of a problem if uh, we're being completely honest. 113. Oh, he's going to take the brat, cut the brown back. Well, I think. He's taking it on. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that, Elliot. <laughs> oh dear, shouldn't have done that, mate. But uh, somehow. Elliot Slesser. He has fought valiantly back into this match. Being conceded, frame and match, Elliot Slesser. And that's it. He's into the final. Brilliant. Not much more needs to be said there. Wow. All right, then. Let's see who we get in the final, then. <sighs> we managed to get him, folks. We somehow managed to get him. Unbelievable. But uh, now we're on to the final. Best of seven, and it will be against the Thunder from Down Under. Can you hear the roar as Neil Robertson comes towards? So like I said, we won't take over John Higgins in the number four spot, but that'll be for the next tournament. So, guys, 15 is the number we asked for for the number of likes. Let's do it all together. And you can subscribe. <laughs> Not for that, but for more daily Suzuka 19, Monster AG, Supercross F1 2019, and NASCAR Heat 4 career modes as well as other live streams available throughout the week. When you hit that notification bell, uh, do that. You get notified when we go live and when a new episode goes up. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you all behind the bulk line in the next video.